Magellan was the first satellite to provide detailed images of Venus. The secret of Magellan's success is a sophisticated radar instrument that operates with incredible speed and efficiency. During a burst of activity that lasts less than one second, Magellan acquires imaging, altimetry and radiometry data. This information is used to make images of the Venusian terrain to determine the heights of surface features and to measure the microwave energy that is naturally emitted from the planet. Magellan gathers data for approximately 25 minutes during each three-hour orbit around the slowly turning planet. Starting at the North Pole and moving south, Magellan maps and swathes her strips that cover an area of about 16 miles wide and nearly 7,000 miles long. Twice during each orbit, Magellan turns its dish antenna toward Earth and transmits the data it has just acquired. While this happens, engineers on Earth track the change in motions of the spacecraft to learn about Venus's gravitational field. The large antennas of NASA's Deep Space Network receive the string of data from Magellan, then transfer it to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Computers process that data into 15-foot-long image strips. These strips provide the first look at what Magellan has discovered. Additional processing of the strips reveals exciting and sometimes puzzling details. A massive lava flow that appears to come from the rim of an impact crater. A 4,000 mile long lava channel that is unequaled in the inner solar system. And an unexplained jet-like streak associated with another impact crater. Dr. Steve Saunders, the project scientist, said Magellan had given us a more detailed view of Venus than we've ever had before. Needless to say, scientists and their students are thrilled not only with the quality of the data, but by the quantity. They've begun to use some new evolving computer technology to combine the images with altimetry data and make simulated flights over the surface of Venus. Although Magellan completed its first mapping cycle in May of 1991, its exploration of Venus will continue for several years. An important strategy for the extended mission was to change the angle of the spacecraft so Magellan could record a different view of the surface. This raises many questions. Will Magellan's multiple observations of Venus reveal changes in the surface features? Is Venus, like Earth, still an active planet? These and many other questions about this intriguing planet are likely to be answered as current and new generations of scientists analyze the legacy of data provided by the Magellan mission. Venus is often called Earth's sister planet because they are similar in size, mass and distance from the Sun.
there are many lessons to be learned, and what Magellan teaches us about Venus will undoubtedly help us to understand the similarities and differences of all of the members of our solar family.